Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your general love read for October 18th to the 24th. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and comment down below if the messages resonate. I will provide a link to the extended um, where I'll dive further into your person and how they feel towards you or any anything else that comes up that the universe wants you to know. All right, let's do this. Let's get an oracle card for my Geminis. What's going on? What's going on, guys? Mercury retrograde. How's that affecting you? It's affecting me. My stereo keeps cutting out. My me, my car radio. I keep cutting out. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Destiny, you're on the right path, my friends. You are on the right path. Tens, watch out for tens. You may be discontent. Okay, I did get this message. You may be discontent and bored right now, okay, with with the, the direction of your life right now. See, you hear my communication? With the direction that your life is going in right now, but universe is saying that um, you are on the right path. You're doing it. You're doing it. Just keep trucking along, okay? Keep trucking along. Let's get some love oracle messages for my Gemini's universe. Come on, give me some love. Give me Gemini some love. Not Gemini's. All right. Playfulness. Keep that playfulness attitude. Deception, of course. Of course. <laughs> Stay playful. <laughs> and we have keep an open mind and express your love. Okay. So that just tells me that you may have dealt with some deception in the past um and it's been a while you're on the right path your life could be a little bit boring right now and it feels like nothing's moving but um universe is saying keep an open mind because something is definitely coming in for you something's coming in for you um you're here to express your love and maybe you need to maybe you have somebody on your mind okay but you need to go ahead and make that um, that make that move. Maybe initiate that contact, text, whatever. Maybe that person needs to, uh, or that person will be texting you. Maybe you won't expect it from this person. They're not your typical um, your typical interest. Um, it may throw you off, which is why keep an open mind there. Um, could maybe this is a friend around you, and you just never looked at them like that, but. I think um, I think it's going to shock you, but I think that's the one. I think that's who you're going to be with. Let's go. We have Nine of Swords. You are very stressed out and in your head about this situation, about your life right now. We have the Two of Swords confusion. Moving very slow. There's your life moving very slow, but you're definitely putting your shit together. You, um, you have a pretty stable life. And look at the sun card, happy. You have released that the past, you know, that past confusion, that deception, whatever went on in your life. It's over. It's over. And you're just moving slowly now. Um, you're moving slowly, like the Knight of Pentacles. You could be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or even a Leo. But... Like I said, it said here, discontent and boredom. And it just feels, has that same feeling of that Knight of Pentacles. All you're doing is working, maybe, and waiting for love to come in for you. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We have the, the Empress, the Divine Feminine. All right? It could be right around the corner. That could be who broke your heart why you're afraid to start again. We have the Knight of Swords here, Gemini, your energy, but you're determined. You're determined or you ran from this, I'm getting. You're, you're running from this. We have the Queen of Cups. You have a lot of feelings for this person. You still have a lot of feelings for this person. Um, it could be a Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you still, you still think and still feel connected with this person um, in a spiritual in a spiritual way. Um, you're very in tune with this person. I believe this person could be 
your twin flame, um, could be your divine feminine, okay? Because divine feminine is coming strong here around this, um, this broken heart. If you resonate with the divine feminine, then this could be you. But we have the high priestess, the queen of cups, and the empress. All feminine energy, really, really in their, their heads feeling. They're very intuitive, um, very, very feminine, beautiful, intuitive, and connected. And they express love, okay? And you have the three of swords here. So... Either the divine feminine is you and your heart has been broken um, and you're trying to heal this or I'm speaking to the divine masculine and you're so you're running from you're, you're the knight of pentacles and the knight of swords here. Okay. Sometimes I look at the knight of swords in this deck as somebody who's just going out and doing doing themselves. Um, they're kind of the fun guy. Um, fun girl and they're just they're sort of staying a little bit emotionally detached um, this is this is also you know could be the determined card but with this situation here it's just telling me that this situation left you so confused and you were in your head in the past you're moving so slow with this king of pentacles energy um, and you're almost running away from a deeper connection in your in your life even though you're bored discontent and you want love um, you have the Sun card which is happiness coming in for you definitely happiness coming in for you as soon as you release all this um, this baggage right here that is that really really crushed you in the past all right who's coming in for um, well you're still in hermit mode okay you're still kind of going within and listening to your inner voice, listening to yourself, the high priestess, the hermit, um, and you're contemplating, um, but you are, it looks as though you have been alone for a while. It looks as though you have been alone for a while. You've been single for a while. All right, we have the tower moment. Um, the tower moment here in this position um, could mean you're still thinking you can't let go of the tower moment that happened in the past, this heartbreak with, with this person that you were deeply in love with. You can't let go of that, and you need to let go. You need to let go. We have the Ten of Cups, okay? You want this, you want this Ten of Cups relationship. You want a very connected, close relationship. Um, again, but you're still you're still isolating yourself and you're still healing. All right, we have the Ace of Wands though, a creative new beginning. This in the Sun card, the Yes card, the communication, communication. Um, again, with the keeping an open mind, a clear open mind, and express expressing yourself, expressing your love, or uh, your desire to connect with somebody is in the near future, and is what. Um, we need to get you out of this protective mode that you're in, this 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 dream mode, this um, fear mode, uncertainty mode that you're in right now. Okay, I want to get some more advice, um, more clarification here um, with this Sun and this Ace of Wands here. With this Sun and Ace of Wands here, man, that person in your past that has kept you single for a while really really um broke your heart really broke your heart all right the sun and the ace of wands a new beginning um let's see tell me more universe about this future this outcome here this outcome we have the moon again so we have that you're still uncertain and you're letting your fears hold you back the nine of pentacles you just work in you this is um you're content you just work a lot you're focusing on your work the emperor though i believe this message is this message is for my divine masculine i believe this is you you're just working working so much and 
you want your you want your empress back in your life the four of pentacles again you keep getting the four of pentacles um the four of pentacles to me is just holding on so tightly um and sort of been greedy with work and stingy and um you know working on your stability so much that i think you just need to let go of that that control and ease up a little bit i mean knowing your worth and all but letting go a little bit have the strength and you need to start healing the message i'm getting here my friends i believe this is for the divine masculine is you need to allow yourself to go within and heal from this past situation you're not letting yourself heal you have the hermit card you have the four of swords you have pay attention to fours okay four 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 if it comes your way you're on the right path but you definitely the destiny card tells me you are on the right path but you need to heal you need to heal from the hurt and the pain from the past we have the eight of pentacles making progress um burnt out as well too but that could be burnt out from work burnt out from work the hermit again the hermit in that mode of just going within and listening to your inner voice um could be connecting with the virgo again but you're so you're comfortable and getting too comfortable with sort of being isolated and being on your own but you desire maybe a leo you desire you desire this you desire somebody you desire a new beginning with somebody okay all right show me universe show me universe my gemini's person show me my gemini's person Show me my dust, my my Gemini's person. Maybe you thought this person from the past was your 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 twin, but I think that you're just. In, I think they were, and you're in a twin flame separation. Show me my Gemini's person. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody um who comes in quickly and and uh leaves quickly at times right very romantic um could be a little bit younger and more playful um passionate um could be a player could have you know played with your heart your emotion but they are they are very emotional and attractive the devil okay <laughs> i just clarified it your person could be a player they played your heart. They played your heart hard. They put you in such a isolated hermit mode. You've been single for a while. You've been single for a while. Your person really came in and broke your heart. But now you've got, you have to get out of that um, fear with those moon cards. The moon, the two moons, the knight of cups, the devil, there was a lot of deception. There was a lot of deception here. <laughs> that, oh my God. There was, there was a lot of deception. This tore you up. This tore you up. All right, but universe, come on, open, open mind, keep an open mind and express your love. So, so there's somebody new. There has to be somebody new coming in for you. Universe, show me more, show me more. Who's coming in for my Geminis? Who's coming in for my Geminis? Who is coming in for my Geminis? Who is coming in? Or if there's a player coming in, keep your eyes open. But if it's your person coming back and the universe is saying keep an open mind, your person may not be the same person they were from the past. But when that devil in that knight of cups, man, just has player written all over it and deception. So who is coming in for my Gemini? We have the Ten of Pentacles, somebody that you will give you a happy life. Somebody that will give you this sun card. 
the sun card, okay? This ace of wands. Maybe a Leo, Aries, Sag. We have the hermit again, though. It could be a Virgo. You may already know who this person is. That's why we keep getting the hermit. You've gone within. You're, you've been single for a while. You could be, this hermit here could be telling me that you will be single a little bit longer, okay? I, I, I was trying to fight that one. Um, I was trying to fight that one because your discontent and boredom kept coming in, all right? But I think the reason the hermit keeps coming up is you still need to go within and heal that divine masculine energy of yours. You need to heal with the hermits, the three hermits, the self-love card. You need to go in and heal with this hermit card, all right? But we do have the king of wands coming in maybe um the king of wands is leo sag aries somebody who's very inspiring very very action oriented um energetic passionate um they bring a lot of passion into your life um very good looking very attractive people again a leo sag aries i believe is your future person your destiny um but you are going to remain single for a little bit longer, maybe, or as long as you are not healing um, within and accepting the deception from the past, you're not allowing your person in the future to come in, which could be this King of Wands. If you'd like to dive further into this person um, and the actions that need to be taken for this person to come in, I'm going to do an extended, um, but I'm going to leave it at that here, Gemini's, for you. Um, you're really, really... Uh, I, I know it looks as though you've been single for a while and you may be single a little bit longer because you still have some things to work on. Um, and the universe is saying, keep an open mind. And as soon as you do let go of some of this deception from the past and um, you do a little bit more healing on, on your divine masculine energy, you will, you will find this release coming in. You will find that your king of wands will come in and this is the person that the universe is sending to you that will bring you the ten of pentacles the happy life okay all right guys let me get a moonology card here for some advice for my gemini's let me get let me get a moonology card here for some advice for my gemini's show the world the real you Stand your ground. This is my my oracle card. I don't know why that was in there, but stand your ground. And the, the energy is gaining momentum. All right. A win-win outcome is forecast. All right, guys. I love you guys. Hope these messages resonate. Please let me know in the comments below. Take care.